Welcome, guys. My name is Emmanuel Igwe, your marketing coach, Dr. Marketing. That's a new name. All right. So we're going to talk about um, the key point today. Okay. And the key point I want to talk today is I want to talk to you guys about um, the two ad platforms that, for the most part, most people are contemplating, which is Facebook versus Google Ads, right? We're going to talk about um, which is better for you to start as a new entrepreneur, right? You're a new entrepreneur, brand new entrepreneur. Should you run Facebook ads or should you run Google ads? The most important question to that is this, is what type of product are you selling, right? If you're selling a, you should absolutely be doing both, but let's say you're limited on budget. Which should you be doing? Should you be running ads on Facebook or should you be running ads on Google? Okay. This is a very important key point. Okay. Are we going to be doing Facebook or are we going to be doing Google? All right. And for that, I want to go ahead and cover a few things is your audience. All right. If I'm going to be selling something that's more incentive based, incentive driven, such as, you know, um, more creative focused, right? Let's say, you know, I was selling a t-shirt, I was selling women clothing or men clothing. I can, something that people are not necessarily looking for, but I'm going to be interrupting your lifestyle. The first thing you have to think about it is how do people come across your ads? Facebook, you are interrupting your engagement on the Facebook platform. Google is searching for it. So you have to understand Facebook is very much an interruption based, uh, uh, um, um, advertising platform and Google is more or less an intent-based platform, right? Which is someone that's going across Facebook, they just, you know, minding their business, doing whatever it is you're doing, and then your ad pops across. Your ad just shows up on your feed or on your platform. Now, you have to have a good enough creative, okay? The most important thing about Facebook is this is you got to have a good enough creative, okay? And not just uh, a good enough creative. Second thing you need to have is you have to have a good enough copy, OK, and this is where most people fall short is they just think that they're going to just go ahead and put any ad out there. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, Facebook ad library. Okay, And I want to go ahead and analyze a few ads so you can basically see, um, for instance, how this works. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, insurance. Let's go ahead and pull up insurance, which if you know what the Facebook ad library is, the Facebook ad library is basically just a collection of platforms that... Um, um, and you can do this for any any industry, whatever you we just come in here and search it and you basically be able to see everybody's ads. Okay. So for instance, let's look at this. Um CC's life insurance, right? So this is very much a creative base. Okay. So we have life insurance doesn't need to be difficult or expensive. Get the most coverage for your family and feel comfortable about it, right? So first thing first is this creative has to stop me. Okay. Don't spend another day without without protection. Is this gonna really stop me while I'm scrolling through cat videos? Not really. It's not really engaging, right? And is the copy going to move me? Not really, right? But the main thing is I want you to understand is when it comes to Facebook ads, you the most one of the few most important things on there. Let's go ahead and get my uh, my pen up and running here. All right, good. One of the few most important things here is you have this, which is your copy, okay? And then obviously your creative, and then you have your copy. Uh, another one here is want to make sure your health care costs are covered in retirement. Medicare does not pay. Now, what is the intent of this, right? It's interrupting me doing my ad. So the main thing first is the goal is obviously to get people to click, but think about it as an interruption. So you need to interrupt them and give them a good enough reason to leave those cat videos and move on to um, your platform, uh, move on to, to to click your ad or become a lead. Now, how does this really, really affect you as far as cost basing? It's very easy to get a cheap lead on Facebook because... When somebody, let's say you're doing a lead form, okay? A lead form, basically, somebody just clicks on a lead form and auto-populates the customer's information, your customer's information, your information. And I want you to think about it from a perspective as all of the information is already been pretty much generated, right? It's already been pre-filled. So Facebook just auto-populates information. It could be right. It could be wrong. You're going to get a lot of wrong numbers and a lot of wrong emails. Um, and that's one thing with Facebook, right? Uh, but the good thing I like about Facebook ads is there is the Facebook ad library, which means you can be able to look at everybody's ads, the ads of previous advertisers for your uh, research purposes. Now, starting out, Facebook is good, but the, 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 the caveat to it is you also got to look at it as Facebook will predominantly sometimes do shut down ad accounts. Um, Facebook does shut down uh, ad accounts. Facebook does shut down pay business pages. I've had business pages shut down before. Uh, it could be for numerous reasons. It could be for non-compliance. It could be for non-payment. It doesn't matter. But the thing is, Facebook is very volatile. 
Do I think everyone should be doing Facebook ads? 100%. But you also have to understand is the target demographic. If you're targeting more of a younger audience, maybe you should be on TikTok, right? If you are more of a local business, such as, you know, um, HVAC, home remodeling, uh, credit repair, or something that's more local, then you should be 100% on Google, okay? Very, very important that you should be 100% on Google. I'm, I'm not going to stress this any further. You should be on Google. Now, let's look at the catch to as far as you transitioning cost is pretty cheap to do on Facebook ads. Facebook's algorithm is pretty easy to um, um, go ahead and, and work. Uh, they made it super easy compared to what it used to be, you know, pre-2017, 2018. All of the advertisers made a few changes. I think it's super easy to launch Facebook ads. Um, little to no research required. You just need to have a good creative and a good copy and let the Facebook algorithm do it for you. So I think it's a new business. Definitely start out with Facebook. And if you don't know how to write copies or how to, how to write creatives, then I highly recommend you come up here to you, you get a, a free trial of this tool called Rising Results. And um, you go ahead and uh, this is my Ryzen account. You come up here and, and then in here, there's the Facebook ads launcher. And the Facebook ads launcher here is basically a collective of Facebook ads already pre-done by experts. Now, what you do is you go ahead and click on launch new campaign and there are already pre-made campaigns in different industries. Uh, all here, so you just go ahead and pick the industry that looks right to you. For instance, dental. Come up here to dental, and there's already pre-made templates. All you have to do is choose a template, put your budget, put the website in, and then uh, any info such as if you want to target, you know, the address, the city, the state, the zip code, and uh, put your privacy policy link, and then launch the campaign. And instantly, in a few clicks, you have your in less than two minutes. Because everything's already done, you don't have to create anything. It'll be automatically populated onto Facebook. Um, the only caveat to this is you have to understand that you're not the only person using the same template. So I would highly recommend you do a few edits, make it tailor it to your brand and your business. So sort of this way people can, you know, identify more with you. So that's basically it to make it easier. I, I find it easier than using the Facebook ads manager, which the Facebook ads manager is, uh, I want to go ahead and show you just a huge contract here and then we'll go ahead and touch on Google. Um, but I highly think you should be. 100% on Facebook. You should be 100% as a new business. Let me go ahead and log into my Facebook account. And um, while I log into my Facebook account, which I should have already been logged into. But the main thing is this. I also want to ask you this question. Why you basically wait for me to do the whole, go through the whole process of um, getting this set up? Is the question I want to ask you is this. Is how much are you willing to invest into acquiring a new client? Very important. It's because a lot of people are thinking, okay, hey, um, I'm just going to launch that on Facebook. How much are you willing to invest, right? What is the most you're willing to invest to acquire one customer, right? So I also want to think about it from perspective as to what is one customer worth to you? Very important. What is one customer worth to you? So this way you can know how much you're willing to spend. So this is, for instance, a huge contrast to the Facebook ads manager, which here, when you look at this, I want you to look at this really good, guys. Look at this. So this is the Facebook ads manager. We're going to go into a demo ad account. You saw how easy it was to launch a Facebook ad. It's already pre-made, already done. The hard part's already done. Imagine this. This is when you're in an ads manager. You go to click create. Now you have to choose your campaign, right? You don't, you probably don't know as a new advertiser. Let's say you choose leads, click continue. And now you have to go through all of this process here. Set the campaign up. After you're done with the campaign, you set the ad setup, set the targeting up, choose a lead form or website. Then you have to come up here and select the lead ad. You don't have to do any of that if you're using, uh, in huge contrast here, if you're using the, uh, uh, let's pick the template here. If you're using the ads launcher, the rising ads launcher, you can just basically come up here and you can choose a lead form landing page or Facebook Messenger. It's already pre-made and done. It's much easier. It's much easier in the ads launcher here. You can choose same thing, Facebook page, lead form, uh, landing page. You don't have to go through the complexity. So we just basically took out all the heavy lifting and made it easier for you, right? So that's one thing I highly recommend if you're a new advertiser to do the ads launcher. It's completely free. Uh, you can get the you can get the ads launcher in the independent plan, and I believe that comes with like ninety seven bucks a month, and you have access to the ads launcher and all the templates. Okay, for ninety seven bucks a month, or you can go on the um, business plan on the business plan, you have access to funnels and websites and automated campaigns and all the good stuff. It's up to you what you want to do. Now let's go ahead and talk about the next step, which is Google, right? What do I think about Google as far as, um, 
what do you call it? What do I think about Google as far as the contrast, as far as cost? Okay. It's very important here. Let me move myself and let's come back in here and let's talk about Google ads. Okay. And let's talk about from perspective as far as how does Google ads apply to a local business? This is very important for local businesses. It's very much intent based because you have to think about it, right? Facebook does not have Facebook maps. Okay. So Facebook, there's no Facebook Maps, there's Google Maps, right? And when you have a Google My Business account, okay, which is GMB, when you have a Google My Business account and you have over five reviews, Google starts to give you high impressions on Maps, so which means you get to leverage that. Like, for instance, we have a Google My Business review, Google My Business, and we just, we constantly are checking. I mean, people are interacting. With we're a marketing agency, but we're constantly popping up. We're constantly popping up as opposed to a local aid business such as, you know, computer repair, for instance, right? I highly recommend you use Google My Business, business because, or, or, or Google because Google has a wider platform, platform and people typically are searching for you. Searching versus Facebook, you are interrupting. Two different things. Facebook interruption, Google search. Okay, so you get higher intent. Now, the only caveat to Google is Google is expensive. Google is expensive. It all depends on on, on the keyword is you can use tools like Spyfu. You can go to spyfu.com um, and S-P-Y-F-U. And that is basically a keyword research tool. You can basically use Spyfu to go ahead and look at your competitors' ads. Okay. You can use spyfu.com. And on spyfu.com, you have the ability to look at the ads. And I'm going ahead and let me go ahead and pull it up right now. I don't have any affiliation with Spyfu, but I use them pretty much on a daily basis as far as my ads go. So I really recommend you check them out, guys, because it, it will give you an idea. Like, I'm going to log into this. I know, I know, guys, um, I should have logged into all this stuff before we got started, but I have been on the road all day and obviously I'm in my hotel room right now. Hence the reason why I'm doing this. But let's, let's, let's look at this. All right. We're at spyfoot.com right now. And, uh, don't, let's close that and let's look for the keyword insurance. Okay. The reason why I'm using insurance now, you can see here as far as, you know, um, what's the monthly volume, the estimated clicks, and all the good stuff, okay? But now here's the keyword. You get about 136,000 impressions, okay? And if we go over here to PPC research, PPC keywords, and let's look at the word insurance. Okay, average cost per click right here. Okay, I want you to pay attention to this. I want you guys to pay attention to this. There we go. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. All right. So right here, cost per click, average cost per click, monthly cost. If you want to get three hundred sixty-eight thousand volume is about one point five million. But if you just want a few better, better that. I mean, at thirteen sixty-five. I mean, if you're spending thirteen sixty-five per click, and it takes you ten clicks to get. You know, let's say we get good copy, so it takes about three clicks. So you're probably paying maybe forty-three bucks per lead. It all depends on how good you are. Okay. It all depends on how good you are. But this is just an example of if you are doing stuff on um as far as Google Ads go. And you can also see the ad copy with this with Spyfu. Spyfu gives you the ability, for instance, this is farmers. All right, let's go ahead and click farmers. Um you can see all the ad history here. This is this is an example of a of a of an ad here. We've served generations protecting what's most important let us do the same for you protecting your assets and you can see how long they've been running it and how much it's costing them per click okay but google is not as, as cheap as because this 1974 it's just for somebody to click on your ad not to become a lead okay so i do highly recommend if you have the budget to go on google okay because you're going to get a lot more intent based buyers more qualified buyers and you're typically more knowledgeable about what you're looking for but typically, I'd say Facebook versus Google, 100% definitely start up with Facebook. And as you start to get more money, leverage Google. Uh, another thing that's out there that I'm going to talk about is TikTok. TikTok's definitely been the trend right now for advertisers. People are getting to see a high return on their investment. The only thing is lead quality is not the same. Okay. Because if we have to score on a scale of, you know, let's say we have TikTok. Okay. And we have Facebook. And we have Google. Okay. If 
we had to score the three, I would say Google would give would get about a nine, Facebook would maybe get a six, and as far as lead quality, I'll probably give a four. Okay, so just take that into account whenever you're running ads, as far as whatever platform you're going to be running ads on. But that is pretty much what I would say for now. Um, but for now, guys, is that's all I got for you. Uh, I'm going to be covering the future videos. If you want a video that you want me to um, cover, just go ahead and you know what, click the just leave the comment below. And I know the button's going to be over here somewhere, so I'm going to do it myself rather than having to do fancy editing. Is click that subscribe button. Make sure to give give it a thumbs up, give it a like, okay, so you can see more content like this of me educating you on your marketing needs. And if you don't have Rising Results, guys, go to risingresults.com forward slash free trial and get your free 14-day trial. It's free, guys. It's free for 14 days. If someone's giving me free stuff, I, I definitely take it. And I'll see you guys on a future video. That's all I got for you now. For now, I say bye.